Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going in for the small weekly update and also the main part of this video, the Frost Oil Tower review because, yeah, I'm a bit late to it, but I'm still going to do it because why not. Uh, here, let's just go for the, the, so I can say, they're doing weekly updates again, and I can say it's a small update. So it says, update tower description of Bubble Tower and anti q defense, winter trials, slightly easier. Uh, gives ten percent more wave cash or that. Orbital cannons being nerfed or buffed. I think yeah, buff. More damage, a uh, higher cost. Oh, tier five cost has been nerfed. Bubble tower is highly rebalanced. Now much better. Secret shop skin rotation. Oh, so that means those skins. The red ghostly for frost or four thousand. Bit overpriced. Royal dream for factory seven thousand. Uh, fair enough, it's a premium skin. Service more detailed change log. Yeah, that's about it. So, I guess the big things are Bubble Tower rebalanced and the new skins. Well, not new skins. Oh, it's actually a premium one for Frosty. Royal Dream. Yeah, I pretty much own all these skins. Rusted. I'm gonna buy one because I haven't got all the skins for Frost because I don't want to spend all my gold. I swear it costs like 40k gold for all the skins for a single tower. Give me blue fire. That's right. Uh, I'll do one per video and see how long it takes. That's like one. I've opened a few for it. Not that many now. I've got one legendary cosmic wonder. So this is the one I kind of like. It's premium as well. I ain't really a fan of the ghosty skins. Anyway, let's get in because the main thing is looking at the Frostal Tower and I guess Bubble Tower. I already equipped it because I knew I was going to look at it to see if it's even good. Yeah, so I'll meet you once we get into the match. Alright, we are now in the match. I decided to choose Lumberland because I never ever played this map because I thought it, it's not a hard map, it's just a map, weird map. I probably should have bought a D-Fab. Oh well. Yeah, let's just go over apparently Bubble Tower to be rebalanced. Uh no idea. I think the only thing that changes the fire rings used to be like 5 seconds, 1.8, 10, 1.6. Yeah, it seems to be going down a lot. Yeah, definitely. It's why it used to do 60, 70 damage, and now it's gone 52. But it's much faster, I think, like. Uh, what's decent? Mud Dirt Boss. Uh, range is still pretty bad. Yeah, that's the bubble tower. I think you only it's slightly faster, so I guess it just technically does eh, it should do more damage, it's like it's slightly less damage. Still feels just as slow, but oh well. I guess it makes it easier for new players to uh, win easy mode, I guess, which is fair enough. Right, anyway, the main tower we're here for is the Frostal. This tower, you probably know how you get this tower and you better get it because I'm pretty sure Winter Trial is leaving like tomorrow or the day after the time of this video but you get this by being Christmas Path 5 but by unlocking Path 5 you need to beat all four, the other four paths yeah so this is the tower you'd get it's quite expensive to place basically 5,000 but I think it's worth it yeah you can only have one of these and it's a freeze tower similar to Frost Rail, except I believe it freezes groups of enemies so if I get so you basically want them to be close together because I'm pretty sure it can't just freeze everything in its range. That'd be a bit of power. I believe it also has a, like, a really small ability that just shoots icicles. Might do splash. Also I'm curious the temple gain because it might be a lordy tower. And that lord towers have a really good temple gain I think. Yeah, oh wow, actually froze all of them. So if they're like really... Why are there so many towers that just have babies with Shocker, like... The that ice is like glue gun Shocker, this is Frost Rail and Shocker. Kind of like mini Shocker and Frost Rail have a baby. Like, what the hell? Like, Fabricator just makes them. Anyway, yeah, uh, so that's what it does. It does really good damage as well, although it's a single target, technically. As it's... Uh... I don't know, it might do some damage, it did like the same to all of them, I think. But 5 seconds, so it makes up for it by having a low fire rate, range is decent. Let's upgrade to the first one, which is always cheap, Keen Eye. Also, I've got to mention this tower just 
Can I see you? Yeah, there we go. When I start targeting, it will just like to look at you, I guess. Weird, anyway. So, no, the next upgrade increases to 81 damage, which is pretty good. Big range increase to 41, that's about it. So, we're getting 280, so it's not bad, but not the best. Anyway, uh, next upgrade is the Heavenly Frost for 6,300. Oh, it's got like a halo now, like it's heavenly. Uh, 162 damage, oh, it's gone down to 4.8 seconds. Yeah, I don't think this thing ever gains Shadow Sight, I think it only has Metal Sight. This sort of reminds me of like, old, the very old Frost Rail, which had like, kind of high damage. So I'm pretty sure the, the frost right now is like under 400. So let's look at. No, this is, this is the second to last upgrade. Piercing Gaze. Yeah, it's one more after this. 239. Why is it such odd damage? It's because I doubled it to level 2. That still doesn't make sense. Oh, it's gone back up to 5, so that was weird. Yeah, so I don't mean it's a good temple game. 560 for 16 Ks. Around 20-ish K is not really worth it. Frost Rail is still a better option. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, what damage and fire rate went up. Range seems to stay. Final upgrade is the Winter Hollow, 41k. 457, still, that's really good damage. Technically you can have up to like 5 of these per match if all, everyone brings them, because you can have, yeah, one per person. Now it just looks easy. I like the colour scheme in this one though, it's gone from uh, oh, this gives me Lord vibes with the thing being a Lord. Can this thing get dizzy? Oh I tried to It'd be funny if you spin for long enough, he just gets dizzy. Yeah, so he looks he has like a massive halo, he's gone dark blue. A ton of spikes or icicles I guess. Like ow. Anyway, that's a lot of damage. He's got a slight range of his well. 46, so with a campfire, he has decent range. Oh, his fire frame has gone down to 4, that's a pretty good actually. So, not bad damage, decent, reasonable fire rate. Temple gain, anything I wouldn't use it for is temple gain. Because you're paying around like 60 ish K for only 700, but like, you can get way more for that, so just don't use this for temple gain. And yes, I was right, no Shadow Sight, unless you use a campfire. But it's not really used for shadows. Actually, I'm curious. If there's shadows and there's regular cubes combined, like where's the shadow cube? I might be able to exploit it. I gotta find the shadow cube. Oh god, I don't know where any of the stuff is. In Dark, oh Dark Spirit, it's a shadow, right? We don't want any cubes though. I don't know what that is, I'm just about to do this thing. Oh, they're different speeds, and I think that's way too much help. Oh, this is really annoying. Wait, it's targeting it? No, it's not. No, stop! Oh, this is really annoying. I want to see if I can, like, exploit it. Better than there are shadow cubes. Tar. Oh, this is really annoying me. I might have to cut. Oh, here we go. I found it. So there's one wind cube. So no, we should want the shadow cubes first because they're faster. No! Oh, actually, hang on. This, is, this might be reasonable. Oh, he's going to one shot them, isn't he, though? Because they're like, really weak. Forget it. You know what I mean? If there's like cubes basically covering the shadow cubes, you might be able to trick the tower into attacking them. Actually, we might see it here, actually. Yeah, no, it worked. He killed them. So you can do it. There we go. Very proven. Yeah, so I just wanted to do this quick video showing off the Frost because I was really late to it. And also just going over this small weekly update. So yeah, that's the Frost In my opinion, it's a good tower. Definitely get it. And also just because it's not going to be in premise, so you might as well collect it for the sake of collecting it. But I might still use it. Yes, that's about it. I will see you next time. Goodbye.